Hello Red Publicity fans, uh, yes this is a new voice on the channel, uh, my name is Mark from Ice Ice Hedge Fund is my YouTube channel and basically going to be doing a bit of a Let's Play Netrunner series. As part of this series I decided I would do the decklist of the week from Netrunner DB. It's something I don't do on my own channel but hopefully you enjoy it and if you do like what you see please come on over to Ice Ice Hedge Fund for some more live Netrunner games and a bit of a vlog series as well which yes is an unusual choice but it's something a bit different. Uh, something unique to my channel, I think. This is the deck we're going to be playing. It's a Geist deck, so I do like Geist, so it's kind of a good way to get started. Um, nothing too out of the ordinary from what I'm seeing here. I haven't actually gotten to play through it yet. This will be my first go at it. But, you know, you've got your traditional Geist stuff. You've got your Cloud Breakers. Forger, Sports Hopper is great for him. Spy Camera is an interesting include. I really like that card. And two Levies, which is interesting. So you get to do it twice over, and you have your permanent breakers there as well so you shouldn't get shot out late in the game. The deck author Brendan has said that it's good against kill decks and Palana so fingers crossed we come up against one of these two things today and not an earth hub deck which could cause us some problems. Alrighty so we have found ourselves a game we're up against Wayland so this should be interesting. Uh, building a better world so gonna get to see our advanceable ice which we haven't really seen in a while. Uh, this opening hand not overly chuffed by we have our sentry breakers but probably don't need them just yet street peddler could be good but i think we're going to try and find maybe tech traders or our film critic something like that peddler again siphon spy camera is a little bit better so our opponent starts up with just moneying so it sounds like a pretty good time to throw in a siphon uh, remove the tags. Yeah, give me all your money. And we can throw down a peddler. And we'll remove both tags. So, a bit of a profit. See, sports hopper. Legwork is useless to us. And a fall guy. Okay. So. And what do we want to do with server one? Draw so we don't die. <laughs> we have hostage, which is good for film critic. But that would leave us running on last click. So I think we just take a look and see what it is. Melange, yep, yeah, definite trash. Uh, we'll put down a spy camera, but we'll draw for a tech trader, hopefully. No, a political operative. Okay, well, if they keep leaving HQ open, uh, we can continue to pressure there and pop it down. So they're going to overdraw. And that could be a good opportunity for the political operative. You run HQ, and as soon as you do, you get the priority on things. So maybe we'll leave them overdraw a little bit more. There's only one card in there. Maybe not that exciting. So what do we want out of this? Get a bit of money and draw. Or we can get Sports Hopper down for two. It's nearly more pressing at the moment. Another battler. Yeah, let's see what we can get here. Shiv is good, spy camera is okay. And another hostage. And we'll throw it in the forger for the link if nothing else. Then they draw the ice. Okay. So, get our sports hover down. She draws us fall guy, which is pretty good. 
And if we draw three here, we'll be drawing four. Maybe a touch too much. There we go. Now the fun begins. So they're finally drawn into some ice, but still not the advanceable stuff. More than likely Chrysium. Uh, this deck only runs the one account siphon though, so not a huge issue. Now let's trash this for some card draw. And a bit of money. Okay, not bad. Uh, maybe time to have a poke at something. So we can trash the spy camera, see the top card of R&D. Shows us a vanity project. Alrighty then, time to get Film Critic down. And... Can we get in there? Seems unlikely. So we may want to just get the Jackson trash. At least now we know what we're kind of dealing with, which is the great advantage of playing Spy Camera. So we're likely looking at mid-seasons. Ah, we've got an off-the-grid combo. All right then. So we run HQ, we have to take out Chrysium. Run HQ again, which is the problematic one. We have Shiv here at least. So let's try and force some stuff. Uh, let's run R&D first, for the peak. Try and get them to spend some money. I'm gonna see Aaron Boy. Well, we don't want to be dealing with that, so. Solid Shiv. Trash it to break all the subroutines. I really like Aaron Boy as a card. It's unfortunate that Parasite is so prevalent. So what do we see at the top of R&D? Hostile Takeover. Now, if they are going for mid-seasons, it's a bit more dangerous to take it. So I think we'll just host it for the moment. Uh, we don't have quite enough money. Uh, let's put this down as well. Run HQ. Hopefully not a sentry. Spiderweb. Okay, well we can break it. Force them to res Chrysium. Uh, it'll mean it's a bit more difficult to get back in, though. So there is the Chrysium, which means we won't be able to install Political Operative either, which is unfortunate. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's the one we would have preferred, but then again, they are poor, so this has actually worked out okay for us. And um, we'll trash the Chrysium Grid. And we'll put down a Fall Guy. Which will hopefully draw us into the next one that we need. So we need to add another spike and be able to get in there. No clone chips. 
it is pretty much playing the Cloudbreakers, Levy, and one Corroder is in here as well. So, see what we can get there. Bioethics. So, that's not too bad. We can afford to keep drawing. Uh, we have sports hoppers all over the place. Hopefully, find our per more permanent breakers very soon as well. So, let's pop this. Gain two. Get another forger, which isn't that much good to us. Uh, let's draw. The spy camera doesn't get us in. That gets us in. So we'll be able to run. This gets trashed. We won't be able to run this, but not the worst thing in the world. Run HQ, trash this. And see what we see. At least next turn we'll be able to take out the Bioethics Association. See a quicksand. And what will we get rid of? We have two levies. We can definitely get rid of this. Uh, we can get rid of this because we've Gordian in hand. And yeah, we'll keep the levy for the moment. Gonna lose another card. Which unfortunately and ironically is the Gordian Blade. Okay, so are they going for even more of this kind of shenanigan? Try and get as many of these bioethics down as possible. Um, even if they are, we can afford to do this. Let's run server three. So we can trash these pretty cheap. Uh, if needs be, we can run. I'm gonna run one of them. Just in case. And. Yeah. Roll the dice and see which one. Now they can't DRT snare us, which is perfect. They can of course snare us, but that might not be the worst thing in the world. Melange, yep, that's gonna go. And last click, let's draw up. Just in case. I can see why the uh, deck author said that this deck is quite difficult to kill. As it is, we have six cards potentially at our disposal. But breakers now are the problematic one. So, if we trash this, we'll get four cards. Let's put him down first. We we'll break even essentially on this. Okay, Shiv, Mongoose. So, these are good to see. Um, ba -ba -ba -bam. We can nearly afford to leave them get one score off. Another mongoose, same old thing, spy camera. That is pretty good. And put down the shiv just to showcase that we can, in fact, get into R&D, maybe make them think twice about a potential score. No, no, it's Melange. That is bad. Okay, so all we have to do is see the left card of R&D. Hope it's something good. 
hostile get us to five, which I think is worthwhile. So we can click, click. Uh, we'll run R and D. Use this to get through. Legwork could be useful as well. Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> the Jackson pop. But at least I'm not able to draw into you any answers. And what do we see instead? Another Chrisium. Uh, yep, it is worth trashing that. Uh, next turn we can possibly do it all over again. So they're making lots of money. But how can they use it? Uh, let's trash this for Money card and info. Red tape. Isn't of any interest to us. And clicking for credits, I think. So red tape will add a good bit of strength to this. Uh, let's see what behind. Mm. Yeah, let's see what behind door number six. The mongoose will get installed for two. Okay. Nothing we can do about that, unfortunately. Until we find our corroder, that is. And they're just going to take money. Okay, by us. Let's uh, take a look at R and D once more. Bioethics Association. I prefer to take that out rather than having to deal with it. And let's do this just for the. The money and draw. I think that's more useful to us at the moment than anything else that's on it. So install mongoose essentially for free. And we can run here for two credits. Run there for two, two credits, take out bioethics. Maybe run again. The unfortunate thing about this deck is that it is very much uh, based on single axes aside from the legwork. So, trash that. We can run again. I'm not sure if that was a glitch or what, but sorry. Um, so we started with eight. 
pay two, pay two. That's correct. Yeah, I reckon we'll take another peek. And a hedge fund. So that's unfortunately no good to us. And maybe put down tech trader and crowbar. So we've lost the money race officially. <laughs> So they drew hedge fund. And what? The fact that we've seen his vanity project means there could be a lot less ice going around. Or a lot, excuse me, a lot less agendas going around. Uh, hostile to balance things out a little bit more. But yeah be more problematic to find agendas. Now I'm not sure if this was supposed to be just off the grid bioethics and slowly grind you down that way or if they actually go for the score off the off the grid play. Uh, it's good to motion out a vanity for example but if you can keep them locked out you can just do the slow advance as well. So I think we need to take a look at this and then leg work. And yeah, second barrier shuts us down. So I prefer not to run into that difficulty. Well, there's Corroder at least. So next turn, we will try and legwork. But we need a bit more money to do so. So a lot of Geist decks did drop the whole dependence on the Sure Gamble, things like that. Instead, just using the fact that the Cloud Breaks are really, really cheap, uh, the fact that you have Tech Traders, things like that, but you do miss it from time to time. Oh, here we go again. Alrighty then, so, time to force some raises. We can drive by this. Which might be the way to go. Now, if it's an agenda, there's not much we can do about it. But if it's bioethics, we don't have to worry about it. There we go. So, free trash on bioethics. Beautiful. And now we can just chill out a little bit. Play a bit slower and take some money. Slowly build, building towards uh, the legwork. A very slow build. So, what are we likely to see? Another bioethics. This time they're going to pre res it, which makes sense. So, we do have to be a bit careful. We don't want to run into a snare and then get hit by bioethics as well. <laughs> Draw the drive by just a little too late. And unfortunately, we lose the legwork. That was the worst case scenario, really. And they're going to take money. So, we can levy. But maybe we should run somewhere just to see something before 
We do. There must be something in HQ at this stage. So, Mary Matty. Uh, we can pay two and two, or we can just break with this. I think we just break with this for the moment. Hadrian's Wall. Wow, they went all out on the, the barrier breakers. Hmm. So that'll cost us the full seven to get. Which doesn't work for us at the moment. So we'll bounce. Uh, let's take a look at R&D. going to see another Merrimatty. This one is much, much cheaper to get through. Red tape, which we can break. So let's do that. So we're basically just profiting at this stage and putting everything back in the stack for the levy. And we have two of our permanent breakers out as well, so not all bad. Did lose the Gordian a little earlier, but they don't seem to be playing code gates. And we see Maramati, which is no good to us. So let's levy and do it all over again. Could lose the legwork once again. Uh, hopefully not. Gonna be expensive. Gonna be expensive. So let's just take the credit for the moment. Whatever happens, happens. Lose the mongoose. So they're continuing to use melange. Starting to run much lower on cards as well in in R and D. Uh, might be worth having a peek in archives just to see. I mean, I'm sure they're kind of hoping. We'll eventually run out of cards, but with constant sports hoppers and two levies in this deck, uh, you're never really going to to lose too much. So they've given up on the punitive plan. Two bioethics down, so just the one remaining at the moment. And two Jackson out of the game as well. Put that down. Lose the legwork again, but you know, it was a one in three. And also, HQ is really, really expensive. That's presumably another Chrisium good. And this is what they're going for now. And for the first time using the ability. So it's taken a while, but uh, they got there. So let's uh, draw up with this. Um, let's take a look. Restructure, okay, no need to go yet. So instead we'll try and build the board state a bit more. And we can go next turn, perhaps. Not 
nothing in here that I really want to keep. So I'll money up and try and make this much easier. Sounds like this, I wish I had a sneak door. But not to be. So we know they drew restructure, but they didn't use it. So how do we get in here? This will cost us three with Crowder. This will be, if we can get one more breaker down, we can use Spike on it. And then this will be three. So that's not too bad, plus whatever this is. So let's draw up a little bit. Well, there's our barrier breaker to seven at least. And I think we play this. It is the most valuable thing we have at the moment, I think. Not too worried about losing the others. Click the straw. Bit of money. There's the restructure. So with all these up breakers out, I'm not overly worried about what this is. It's just whether we can afford to get in here. And preferably trash Chrisium as well. Using one spike will get us three. So I think we're a little short, but let's take some extra cards. Get another legwork. Do that. Still no agendas. All right, time to run HQ. If it's a code gate. Yeah, we can use it because then we'll get money. We'll be able to afford to pay through this. Cost us seven. Yeah, I think running HQ is the way to go. Let's see what surprises are in store. And at the very least, we might be able to pick up the win. So we do indeed have to sack a code gate breaker. Which draws us another spike. Uh, so let's spend three here. Or do we? If we spend three, we're down to 13. Then have to spend seven. Brings us to six. Yeah. Math on the fly. Him, as you'd expect. But it may not matter. Mary Matty. Well, that was disappointing. But we will get rid of Chrisium. And throw down. And that. We can get rid of one of our hostages. And 
we lose spike armor, which is unfortunate. Would have liked to keep that. So how do we get through here again? We almost don't. They really are going for the long grind. But we have a second levy. So all we have to do is find the third Jackson and then just stay alive. Forger. So one Kogai thingy, which will gain us three. We spend two. Uh, let's do this. Make sure we've loads of money. Ah, yes. Let's keep it alive this time. So it's still going to be very expensive to get through HQ. mongoose on this. And let's see one. It's doing it all the hard way. But in the end, it works. So a lot of single axes is not the way you want to go really. I can see why it struggles against slower decks. Uh, but in this case, we were able to overcome kind of mountains of ice. Didn't have to worry too much about the whole bioethics thing, mainly because we were restricted to one. Two levies really takes the uh, the pressure off. And yeah, we did get very good early, early game pressure. So I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please drop a like and come on over to Ice Ice Hedge Fund for more little prattling along while I'm playing Netrunner games. Thanks guys.